everybody, I'm Darlene and I would like to welcome you all to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making cinnamon raisin pancakes. Now these pancakes are going to be homemade and I think the child will really like them. So the ingredients that we need today are I have whole wheat flour and brown sugar, lemon juice, a baking soda, uh, baking powder, cinnamon, milk, olive oil spray, vanilla, salt, I have a little bit of butter, one egg, and I have some raisins. Okay, that's all our ingredients. So, uh, let me see. Okay, y'all. So the first thing I need to do is uh, my raisins. Get my raisins out. And I need three fourths cup of raisins. I like to measure them in my uh, one fourth cup. A little one fourth cup. There's two. So I have three fourths cup of raisins, three of my little one one fourth cups, and what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to get half a cup of water and put it in my pan. That's half a cup of water. I'm going to turn my burner on high and I'm putting the raisins in the water so it will make them tender. So I'm going to turn it on high and as soon as it starts boiling then I'm going to take it off the burner and drain them. Okay, so next thing I need to do is milk. Now, this recipe actually calls for buttermilk. I don't have buttermilk. The next best way to make buttermilk is one cup of milk, one cup of milk, and one tablespoon of lemon juice. Shake it up real good. These kind of separate, so it's good to shake them up. So I'm going to add one tablespoon of my lemon juice to my milk. That's okay if you add a little bit more. So, but one tablespoon for one cup of milk. Let it sit for about 10-15 minutes and that's what we needed that for. I'm going to stir it a little bit. Just stir it up a little bit. And now I won't touch it. Okay? Okay. My 
raisin, raisin are coming to a boil. So now we're going to, it's starting to boil. And it's going to make them tender for our pancakes. They, they really were kind of chewy. They weren't hard, but this will make them softer. So I'm going to take that, turn that off and take it off the burner. Need some of this stuff. Okay. Now I'm going to drain this. Let me get my lid. I have a little lid that fits on it and it has the draining things on the side. So I can just do this. And now they'll just kind of sit in the water. I'm going to sit in the pan. I drained the water already. Okay, and my milk, just let that sit. So, I'm going to get busy. I'm going to get out one cup of my whole wheat flour. right there so I'm gonna move my camera yeah okay I want to be sure you guys can see what I'm doing here and let's see I have my uh, my whole wheat flour in here one cup all right so the next thing I'm going to put some baking Baking powder. I need one teaspoon. One teaspoon of my cinnamon. Spoons of brown sugar. Two tablespoons. Yeah. Did I check that one? <laughs> And a lot of times with brown sugar, you do kind of want it to be packed. So it's okay if it seems to be a little bit over. But you do kind of want to pack it down. Okay. This one. This recipe is so good. My family likes it. 
it's really it's it's easy to make I like homemade things I really do and there's so many times you get ready to go make something and you don't have it so but if you have all your main ingredients you can pretty much put anything together there's two tablespoons of sugar brown sugar okay and let's see I'm going to stir this up I'll have a little bit of salt i put some salt one fourth teaspoon salt it for our dry ingredients. Oh, baking soda. I almost forgot my baking soda. Can't forget that. Let's see. Um, one half, one half teaspoon. Yeah, baking soda. My baking soda. Gotta put that in. Now the uh, whole wheat flour is not white. It has a brownish look to it. If you've never worked with it. So, it's not white. It's not supposed to be white. I can see my baking soda down in the bottom. It's just kind of some of the pieces are, it seems like it's a little bigger, not wanting to dissolve. I'm going to melt my butter and I am going to use two tablespoons of butter. It's already softened. paper tore funny. Anyway, it's about two tablespoons of butter. And I'm going to put that in the microwave. Not too much either. I'm going to go ahead and put my vanilla in first. 
I need one table, uh, one teaspoon of vanilla. I love vanilla. <laughs> I love vanilla. Now a lot of times I'll put extra, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it just like a like I need to for y'all. So and yeah, my vanilla, my egg, and my butter. My butter's just melted enough. And I didn't want it to be too hot because then it starts cooking on the eggs. You don't want to make it too hot. It's just melted enough. Where I'm just, just kind of messing with it, you know. It's there we go. This is going to be good. I like whole wheat. So the whole wheat in the pancakes, I like it much more, much better than just white flour. And it's supposed to be a lot healthier for you too. So that's a good thing. <laughs> that's just an added plus. Okay. Let me make sure where y'all can see. Okay. A little bit closer. Anyway, now my milk. I doubt y'all can see this, but I hope you can. The milk changed. When you put lemon juice in it, it like curdles. It turns into, not exactly like regular buttermilk, but it has that thick curdledness to it. And I seldom buy buttermilk, but I do use it in a lot of different foods that I cook. So, this is how I make my own buttermilk. So I'm going to go ahead and pour that in there. And that's how you can cook any buttermilk um, recipe, pretty much, by putting the uh, lemon juice into your milk. I'm giving it a little bit of time to curdle. So, I can mix that together. And that's that. Buttermilk is thicker than that right there. But this works great. And now I can go ahead and put my dry ingredients in. Okay. And I'm going to put half in at a time. Mix that in. I think y'all will like this. Yeah. And now I'm doing this. I'm putting all my raisins in here. That did get softer. Oh yeah. Hmm. Much softer. That's great. And put our cinnamon in there. cinnamon. <laughs> I usually do a lot of my foods. Now y'all don't have to. I just want to put more cinnamon. Especially for something that says it's cinnamon. So I'm going to put at least a at least a half more of this. Uh, this is one teaspoon. I'm going to put half of it. I'm just filling it up a little bit. It's not really okay. It's about half so it's half a teaspoon, okay? Half a teaspoon more, because <laughs> that's what I like. 
That's what I like. And this ain't, it ain't all come out. Stuck in there. Okay. There we go. And just stir it up now. We've got it all together now. It takes a little while with me talking, but if you guys were doing it, you'd probably be faster. vegetable oil and just put a little bit in your pans just a little bit you know less than a than a tablespoon so you don't want to use any more than that okay so let me move these out of my way so and I'm going to get my pans up here. Okay, y'all. So, I decided to go ahead and make another batch of my, um, my, um, these. <laughs> so, yeah. I decided to go ahead and make another batch. And the reason being... One batch will make four four inch, I'm sorry, it'll make eight four inch little pancakes. So I wanted to make more. I wanted to find out about making some big ones. So I'm going to make some that are about six inch. Yeah, about six inch. So, and I'm thinking it will make what, four? <laughs> oh, four, six inch, four or six of them. Anyway, so I'm going to spray my pans. I'm going to turn them on medium. Let them both get hot. So we're going to make some four inch pancakes and some six inch pancakes. And that way I can tell y'all Y'all can see how many it makes. Whether you want to use the big ones or little ones. Okay. So let that get warm. And we'll go ahead and put them in. I'm putting in, for my little 4 inch pancakes, I'm going to use 1 fourth measuring cup. For my bigger pancakes, I, I have a 1 fourth. But I'm going to use 1 fourth and then half of this one fourth together. So that's what we're going to do. So as soon as it gets hot, be right back. Okay, so my pans are getting warm. I'm going to go ahead and put some in there. These are thick to me. I usually make my pancakes a little thinner, but I'm going to go just by the directions or whatever, for the, just buy the recipe for you guys. Oops. Okay, so, let me I will get that camera up here closer so you guys can see better. Okay, yeah. Put the camera up closer. And I'm 
might have to put less than a fourth a cup because that's that's really swelled up. I don't think it's gonna do quite like it said. <laughs> oh. It's more like a half. This ain't gonna do like what I wanted. Nope. Well, this ain't going to be pretty. <laughs> yeah. Ah, that first one, big one was too big. Too big. Thick pancakes. Just gotta wait for them to come up, get get uh, bubbles in the top. That means they're ready to be turned over. Honestly, I think my heat needs to be up a little bit. Yeah, I'm just waiting. Okay, so it looks like they're about ready to be turned over. Now the other side, to me, is dark. But it is a dark wheat pancake. And it's supposed to be three minutes per side. That's been three minutes. Because I put that on for, at, at five to look at it. This is starting to bubble up. That's nicer. This one's perfect. That's, that's good, I guess. on your stove, it will depend on the heat. It's 
been years since I made this. And I used to water. I've thinned mine up a little bit because they're so thick. I mean, they're good like that. They are good. I usually use oil, but I thought I would use the spray today. Whoops, I tore it. I know most people like using sprays. And that one, I'm going to put a timer on it. Two more minutes. So, that way I can time them. I'm making it just a pinch less than the one fourth. Hard for me to make real pretty pancakes. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. It says two more minutes, but I say no. It says one more minute. To me, it's done. It don't need. It don't need another minute. <laughs> Okie dokie. And if you see what I'm doing, I'm just kind of pushing it out because I like my pancakes a little bit thinner. Because this did not cook that long. See, that's what that timer was for. Put it on for two minutes for this one and it'll be three minutes for that one so I'll, I'll put it on for three minutes uh, three but this one here it's only gonna be another minute and a half two minutes on this side okay it's only been about a minute or so been about a minute or so but I don't want these to get as dark as those did and they are dark cooking better to me. The one that's thinner. Because I thinned it out. To me they cook better. 
It's much better. So, I think I'll do that with the little, those. So I'm going to add water to mine. I'm going to add water or milk. nice yeah so what do I want to add I'll add a little bit of bitter water to it I will add how much Some water to what's left. Now, I wanted to do it by the recipe that I have had, but I personally have always added a little bit more, a little bit of water. All of my recipes of pancakes and stuff. So I guess I should have done it. I like that better. A lot of people like thick pancakes. If you like them thick, do it your way. You know? Do it your way. You've got to be happy with what you have. As for me, I don't like the real thick ones. I don't like real thick ones. They're done. And they're soft. They're moist. I guess they're supposed to be this way. But y'all try them both ways and you'll see which way you like them. That's what I want y'all to do. And they are dark because they are... Yeah, I'm recording. <laughs> they are dark because they are the whole wheat as well. So if it looks too thick to y'all when y'all make it, add a little pinch of water, a tablespoon or two at a time. Okay? Now this is going to go in a little bit thinner, but that's what I want. Ooh. I don't think I like the oil like that. Okay, y'all. Let my pans cool off a second. I took that other grease out of there. It got too hot too fast. And I like to use oil. So I'm going to see how this does. I like my oil better than sprays. That's what I usually do. But I thought I might would cook with the spray because I know a lot of, it seems to me a lot of people like to do that, but I'm going to cook with my oil. I'm going to do it my way. And that's exactly what y'all have to do. Figure out what you like to do. How you like to make your pancakes. If you like to use the spray, go for it. If you would like to use some of this vegetable oil, do it. Do it your way. Do whatever way works for you. 
this probably gets a little bit more oil into your into your uh, pancakes a little bit, but I like them. I like them. These are nice and soft. They're just darker looking. These here nice and thin and light and uh, lighter, but I kind of mushed it around in the pan too, so it would be thinner. I like it thinner. I like it thinner. Okay, let's put some more in here. Oops, no, 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 don't go down in here. <laughs> I almost lost my thing, this here, down in the thing. Okay. Yeah, I have more control this way. I'm liking this better. My other pan's getting hot. Well, they might still try to go into each other. But, turn it up a little bitty bit. Good, quick, hurry. And this one. not sitting straight. Okay. I'm going to turn that one up a little bit more than medium as well. So, hoping this way works even better. These really flipped. This timing is much better. It's uh, a <laughs> done it a second ago though. But my timing that's three minutes on each side. That's still dark. But I felt like I had a little bit more control over it. This one here's ready too. Yum. I need a bigger spatula. Two minutes. Put it on for two. So this is soft. That one's nice and soft. These are soft. Not as soft, but they're soft. I think two minutes, one and a half or two minutes is better. They're soft, they're done.
Of course, this will come out before three, it'll come out two. Okay, these have done, I think, a minute and a half. A minute and a half is better. There ain't no three minutes to it. <laughs> Don't do that. A minute and a half. two minutes for this one yeah it depends on what pan you have and it depends on how big you make it but I didn't smoosh this in around I poured it in and then I poured more around the edges so oh that's much prettier the inside needs to bubble up a little bit more So you'll see these smaller ones just seem to be cooking faster. I like that much better. Did my three minutes on this one. I did three minutes on this one. You see the inside didn't have the bubbles. The outside does. Oh, perfect. Perfect. See, these are turning out well better to me. But the small ones are good and cook them just a little bitty bit less time. Kids like small ones. Kids always like small ones. Oh, I put a lot more oil on there than I wanted to. Didn't mean to do that. Push this on. Yeah, see how much is in this one. poured some of that out so I went and wiped off the side just in case I had oil on the side which I did for safety I wanted to do that <sighs> so anyway that would cook probably one more but I'm going I don't know if I got enough or two Yeah. 
got a minute. One minute. I like these big ones. And I like the big ones. They look yummy. That one's a little bit better than the others, but maybe not. So now I turned the camera off and on several times, and hopefully y'all could see when I did it. But to 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 cook your pancakes, really about I think about two minutes, eh, sometimes one and a half for the second time, second turnover, and. Um, you just kind of have to flip it and look at it. It gets bubbles all on the top, and when they're kind of bubbly everywhere, that's when, it, like this, it's not really cooked all the way in the middle. You can see the middle part doesn't really have bubbles. That's kind of about when to turn it, though, because you don't want too dark. Now, some of these have gotten too dark to me. All right. Now remember, we've got the raisins in there that are making part of little bits of it darker. And these are going to be done. So I feel like on the first, on the first, when you first put it in, leave it in for about two, ugh, two, two and a half minutes maybe. And then when you turn it over for the second, when you turn it over, cook it for about a minute and a half, especially for the small ones. Where am I going to put them? See, this is not quite ready. See, I still need to cook it some more. A little bit more. Just a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. So, well, I put part of that little bit left to make the little ones. But it wouldn't have made another whole one. Unless you make them just a pinch smaller. So... Anyway, they're, they're going to be good. They're going to taste good. <laughs> I know that they'll get eaten. But I wanted to show you guys the difference between the, the little little paint, little ones and the bigger ones. So I'm going to put my camera back. Okay, y'all. So I just wanted to be able to show you guys the difference between the big ones and the little ones. And how, how quickly some of them can cook, smaller ones, bigger ones like that but this one's still finishing up any second it should be done yeah like now all right we have our big one to make it clean that mess up Little ones. Yeah. Off. Okay, y'all. So I finally finished all up. And would you look how good they turned out? I was worried. <laughs> They're darker. They they um 
you know, they're made out of the wheat. So they are a little bit darker than regular pancakes, but they look good. They really look good. And I'm proud of them. I'm proud of them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I hope I taught you all a few things. I taught myself a little bit there, too. And uh, yeah, I hope you all like these. Look at them. And that look good? I don't know how close I have them. <laughs> I hope y'all like these. I really do. So, I get to get me some now. Yay! Yay! So, I... Now some of these, as you know, do get a little bit, seem like they're a little bit darker, but, you know, and I tried to thin, thin them up, I'm going to put in the uh, video ahead of time to add two tablespoons of water into it, and you can always add, even later, like I did, a little bit more water if you feel that you need to make them thinner. That's really up to you. Um, they're good both ways. I mean, they're just, they're thicker. This is thinner. That one's thicker. I need a thick one. I'll try me out a thick one. Mmm, it's soft. And this one's thinner because I added water to it. So, the difference between them, they made it thinner. Made it thinner. You just gotta watch and See how dark you want them? Just make sure they look like they're done inside. Um, yeah. So, the thick ones, I just don't think you need to cook them for 30 minutes per side. I think maybe two minutes. And some of them are one minute when they're thinner. So, mmm. Oh, that's good. I took a bite. <laughs> I have me some syrup here. Our Father in Heaven, I thank you for helping me make this dish. Thank you, Father, for all my friends and family and viewers and everybody. I pray, Father, that you be with them when they go to make it and help it to turn out good. Thank you for it turning out good tonight. Thank you, Father, for all your blessings and your love. Thank you for your guidance, Father. Thank you for your Son. Thank you for everything you do for us, Father. I ask, Father, that you bless this food and help it to nourish my body and anybody else that eats it. And, Father, just thank you. Thank you for your love and your guidance. Thank you for everything. Thank you for your Son. I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. Okay. Now, I can eat it. I'm going to put syrup on mine. I, I really do. I, hmm. Mmm. Oh, the raisins are good, y'all. Raisins are great. Mmm. Goodness. I like this. <laughs> I'm going to give my, give the biggins, uh, I'm dropping it. Give the biggins to my hubby. <laughs> he won't eat all of them. And my daughter, my son, my grandson. Oh, yeah. They're big on pancakes. I usually eat waffles. So, my daughter is a pro at cooking pancakes. Not me so much, but <laughs> I wanted to try these. So, and you can make them, like I said, with the, uh, where you spray your pan with the vegetable, uh, with your vegetable oil spray, if you like, or you can use the, oh, like I did. So, it's really up to your liking how you like to do your pancakes. So, these are good. They're just darker because it's the whole wheat. Which is supposed to be a whole lot better for you. It's a lot more healthy for you. Yeah. Get all cut up. Good. This is good. 
have a syrup right now. This one happens to be a butter pecan flavor. I like that. I love butter pecan. Like ice cream. <laughs> I love butter pecan ice cream. Butter pecan ice cream and chocolate mint chip. Chocolate chip mint, whatever. My two favorite kinds. I love them. I like coffee ice cream. I, I just like ice cream. <laughs> I do. There's another one I like too. I can't think of it. Mmm. 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 Good. They're all very good. They are fluffy inside. They're very good. Mmm. And I'm eating the little one. So I had half, half of a thick one and a whole little, little flat one, a little bit more flat. The thick ones are really good. Mmm. Oh my, it's really good with the syrup. So making them thick like that's all right after all. But like I said, I did put that um, somewhere in there. Put that water in it that thinned it up just a little bit. A big, big pancakes right here. These, man, these are, that is just, wow. Those are great. Now, those cooked, you saw, I don't know why, but they're, uh, they're lighter. Uh, these just got darker quicker. Just don't cook the little one. <laughs> as long as I did the big one. It depends on your pan, really, and it depends on your, on the heat, um, and it depends on the thickness of your pancake. Mmm. They're just good. They're just good. Oh, I like it with the raisins in there, too. I don't normally like raisins. I'm not real big a, a fan on raisins, but I do like these. And they're soft. Remember how I put them in the pan? We put them in water. Mm. I know. Mm -hmm. And that softened them up. Wow. And they're good. Oh, they're really good. They're, they're soft. Soft and chewy. Very good. Very good in this recipe. With the cinnamon, too. I put just a little bit more cinnamon in there. So I like my cinnamon. I like cinnamon and vanilla. I really do. Mm -hmm. I think you guys are going to like those. I really do. It's very good. It's a lot better. It has more flavor. Uh, I don't know, I just like it better than the white regular pancakes. I like this. Mm -hmm. My daughter made it all the time. She used to make these all the time. And like I say, she is a pro at making pancakes. That girl can make them. <laughs> and her son loves pancakes. So yeah, she still makes them all the time. Well, he's a big boy now. He's my bigger grandson. And yeah, she's a great cook. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I like these. <laughs> yeah, I have several grand, uh, several daughters and my son. And then I've got two grandsons. I love them so much. And more than little kids, they love pancakes. Mm-hmm. So usually my daughter makes them. <laughs> I did okay. They're good. They're great. I'm thrilled. I'm, I'm proud of myself. <laughs> Pancakes are not my uh, fortitude or whatever you call it. My best thing. But these turned out really, really good. And I like the whole wheat. I really do. I like it. I like the cinnamon. I like the, the uh, raisins. I hope you guys like them. I really do. So I will put... A, earlier in the um, in the video an insert about putting in those two tablespoons of water or so 
uh, or just before I start to cook them. Sometime I'll put it in there just to help remind you guys if you decide to uh, add a little bit more water to them or if you like them thick and fluffy. Y'all try them y'all's way. You're going to like them. Yeah, y'all try them y'all's way. So, I hope you like them. <laughs> I'm very pleased. Give me a thumbs up if you like it, please. Yeah. And uh, let me know you tried it. Leave me a comment. Tell me how yours turned out. Tell me if you needed to add extra water to it or not. And y'all might, y'all probably do better than I did. <laughs> so, thank you for watching my video. Check out some of my other ones. I'm a little better at some other things than pancakes. <laughs> I appreciate y'all watching though. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Subscribe to my channel. That'll help me so much. Subscribe. Yeah, check out all my other videos. I have uh, main dishes, side dishes, pies, desserts. I'm putting out everything. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Yeah, subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Thank you. As always, bye.